Patrick Vale is with us today, so I'd like to have everyone give a warm welcome to him. Patrick is the uh, Teton County Planning Director. And Patrick has quite a role in this community, as you all know, so you'll probably have a lot of questions for Patrick. Uh, Reed Rogers is with the Chamber of Commerce, and we'd like to offer him a warm welcome. I'm working with uh, Reed uh, as a uh, as a chair on the board for the marketing committee, so he'll have a lot of information about National Geographic and all of the different exciting things that are happening in the community. I'd like everyone to welcome Bill Knight. Bill. Uh, Bill is with the Victor City Planning, and he'll have some very in. Uh, useful information and extremely informative information about grants that have uh, come to pass in Victor, Idaho. And so we look forward to hearing from Bill. And uh, Doug Self, I'd like to offer a warm welcome. And, uh, Doug is uh, with the uh, Drake City Planning Department and there's a lot going on with urban renewal and so he'll be going over that with us. Uh, Bill Coleman, will actually be uh, presenting the first PowerPoint with me. And Bill is a broker of 38 years and is also a brokerage consultant to Windermere Real Estate. We give him a warm welcome. <laughs> and Mike Potter, uh, off here to my right, is with PC Development. And he'll also be giving a, a speech to the development world. So I'd like to give a warm welcome. And a really, really special thanks to Dave Owen. Dave, and I don't know if you would mind standing up, but David owns the Timberline Bar, and he has actually allowed us to be here free of charge. Thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to go ahead and move into uh, our PowerPoint presentation about Teton Valley. Uh, this presentation, it actually started as a way to uh, put graphs together for our staff meetings. And then it evolved into uh, a presentation that we use for different investment groups and to inform people about what's happening in the valley in a fashion that was a lot easier for them to understand and view. And it has since evolved into a tool that, that we've used and also worked with uh, Patrick and Patricia uh, with the county to gather data together about all of the subdivisions and what is in the courthouse and the county versus what the real estate world had and merge everything together. So <clears throat> we're going to go through um, a little bit about Jackson, Wyoming in the marketplace and a lot of this data is taken off the MLS. Um, the recreational marketplace that we're in uh, private investment in Teton Valley and what's happening, Grand Targhee's expansion, uh, the tightening entitlement environment in Teton Valley, Idaho, and a price and market reset in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Uh, starting with Jackson, Wyoming, and again, I really appreciate those of you who came over from Jackson. Um, some of this information you will have already had off the MLS. However, what we've done is we've taken the residential home sales and we've gone back from 1999 all the way up through 2008. And the blue line here on this graph, and by the way, it may be hard for you to see everything on this presentation, but this is something that I'm happy to email all of you to have so that you can have this for your clients and for yourself uh, when, you're, when we're finished with this. So just let me know. The, the average uh, residential home sale in Jackson, Wyoming was at over $2 million. However, the median, which is how we track things in, in the world of real estate, for uh, residential home sales in 2008 was $1,475,000. And most of you, I'm sure, know this, but the median price range, the way it differs from the average, is the median actually takes this number, $1,475,000, and there are 50% of the homes are beneath that price range, and 50% are above that price range. So you actually get a really good and accurate idea of the true value of homes on the market so that it is not skewed by a $10 million sale. 
um, that type of thing. The residential lot sales, same thing here. Uh, in 2008, um, the median price range uh, was a million uh, forty-seven thousand in Jackson, Wyoming. This drop here from 2007, 98 lots sold down to 33 lots is partly reflected by the economy, but it's also the fact that the housing market and the condo market uh, in 2008 in Jackson uh, came down to a dollar price where people were picking up uh, actual homes and being able to purchase them. Teton Valley, Idaho. Um, we've had a lot happening in Teton Valley, Idaho with developers and significant developers like the Huntsman, Gillette families moving into Teton Valley. Um, there are extensive investments in the public infrastructure, which actually our panel is going to go over. Several members will speak to that virtue. And the private investment in uh, rebuilding Teton Valley, Idaho. Uh, Grand Targhee, of course, the expansion with the Gillette family and the different golf course projects that are happening in the valley have brought in a caliber of project that is very, very unique uh, to the last six, seven years in the valley and in particular the last two or three. Um, there's a tremendous amount of effort um, in the tourism section for Driggs and Victor, Idaho as well, and Reed is gonna speak to that virtue um, about National Geographic and some other very exciting things that have come into the valley. In Teton Valley, Idaho, the residential home sales uh, in 2008, um, the median price range was 356000 This is actually a graph that shows you where the majority of the homes have sold, and as you can see, that's between four hundred and five hundred thousand. and 500000 And again, I'm going to click through some of these fairly quickly because we can send you all this information. The uh, residential lot sales, uh, the median price range in 2008, was 177,000, almost 178,000. And you do see a significant drop from 2007 in lot sales. Um, now part of this is, is we, the reason from 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, that there were so many more sales in those three years is number one, those were outstanding years in all of the real estate markets. But this is also when a lot of our new uh, PUD projects came in and deposited more inventory into the valley. Um, the reduction that you see here uh, down to 85, when we actually compare that with Jackson sales, it's a lot more similar to what we see happening in Jackson with Idaho. We just had a significant 05, 06, and 07. The, uh, <clears throat> in the uh, home inventory, um, what we have seen in the MLS as of March, um, we have a median price range of 425,000 and about 313 homes on the market. The reason in January there are more homes um, in March from January is simply because there was a, uh, a market change with a large company in the Valley changing their market position. And so a number of homes went off the market and then came back on. This again shows you uh, just a chart with where that pricing is coming in. The uh, lot inventory right now has, as you can see, it has actually started to shift downward so that there is not as much on the market. Uh, part of this is due to, again, in January, you see somewhat of a reduction because some lots did come off the market due to a change uh, in a couple of real estate company firms. And at that point, some discussions were made do we put our property back on the market? Do we chase the bottom? What are we going to do with our properties? And so uh, you see that drop a bit. And also the pricing did start to hit a level where people started to do some purchasing. 